walls of unprecedented dictatorship. The rise of the political Islam in Iran has marked one of the darkest chapters in Iran's history. And for the past 30 decades, it has wielded its power through force, cruelty, oppression, violence, and the violation of very basic human rights of people of Iran. As the Islamic jurists lay down the notion of velayat e meaning rule by the supreme jurists, one by one, all civil rights, individual rights, and social and political rights were declared non-Islamic and crushed by the divine guardians of the society. Women's right to the most fatal blow in the hands of the Islamic regime and violation of the very basic individual and civil rights, including the enforcement of mandatory hijab, became the gauge in which the regime measured its own power and control, as well as, as, well as ideological legitimacy. For the past three decades, women of Iran have been subjected to constant intimidation and harassment and have endured cruel punishments such as rape, flogging, and stoning to death. Women's rights activists have been targeted by ongoing threats, persecutions, arrests, and imprisonment. The religious and ethnic minorities have long suffered institutionalized discrimination and have been marginalized and subjected to detainment, torture, and execution. Civil rights and human rights activists, students, university teachers, intellectuals, journalists, trade unionists, and political opponents have been arrested and prosecuted in unfair and short trials without access to their lawyer, medical care, or their families, and have faced imprisonment, flogging, amputation, torture, and execution. And in the aftermath of June 2009 election, rape of women and men has been used as a weapon of terror and intimidation and intended to send a message to all other opponents. <coughs> but make no mistake, the regime's brutality and violence is no match for people of Iran's determination and resiliency. No match for the tears shed by the grieving mothers who lost their children to the cause of freedom and social justice. No match for the lost innocence of and livelihood of a young generation that has been sacrificed at the altar of the theocratic institution and now are rising up to reclaim their voice. State of human rights in Iran is in crisis and requires immediate action. So far, Amnesty International has sent more than 50 letters to the Iranian authorities in order to visit the country and observe and document the status of the detainees and the prisoners' conscience. But the regime has not responded, has refused to cooperate. Amnesty International stands by the people of Iran and condemns this, the state-sponsored violence. Amnesty demands the immediate and unconditional release of all political prisoners and prisoners of conscience, including women's rights and human rights activists, students, <coughs> journalists, members of religion and ethnic minorities, and all the protesters who have been detained subsequent to June election, and some are awaiting to be executed. The recent mass movement in Iran signifies the fact that the ideology that has laid the foundation of this regime has been widely rejected. And the theocracy cannot coexist with freedom and democracy. What lays at the heart of this movement is a hope that has glimmered in the hearts of Iranian people and now has been ignited to bring down the walls of tyranny and oppression and put an end to 30 years of terror. So let's stand by the people of Iran by embracing their struggle. Let's, let us be inspired by their yearning for justice. And let's cherish the human spirit that has risen up above all odds and has given us the hope that a new dawn with dignity and human rights is in horizon for people of Iran. Free Iran, free Iran. Woo! <laughs>